They're in the gate, and they're off. Good beginning for Major General from the inside post. Papa Cap breaks alertly as well. My prankster on the far outside races up, and Diesel's not far behind. And Jack Christopher gets a forward spot coming on through between horses and angling toward the outside. Up the chute they go, and it's Papa Cap in front. Jack Christopher has come on to be second and is tracking this pace with six furlongs to go. Major General toward the inside is racing in third. And then it's my prankster advancing up into fourth. Trademark is now fifth. Kavod comes away running along in sixth. Doppelganger in the clear while seventh. Trafalgar advancing toward the rail from eighth. Ben Diesel's back in ninth. Though Captain is tenth. And Tejano Twist is the trailer down the back stretch run. The opening quarter goes in 22 and three fifth seconds. They're halfway home. And that opening half was 45 and three. And it's Papa Cap the leader as they round the far turn. Jack Christopher getting closer with each and every stride now. Just a neck behind with three furlongs to go. Jack Christopher is looking for the lead. Papa Cap trying to hold it. They round the far turn together. My Pranksters in a full out drive trying to close in from third. Major General's back into fourth. The rest have a lot to do. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Papa Cap is tough. Jack Christopher is right alongside. They're shoulder to shoulder with one furlong to go. My Prankster third trying to close in. But right at the eighth pole, Jack Christopher is set down for the drive. And he responds and opens up. Opens up by two. Papa Cap gives way. My prankster. And then it's O Captain. But Jack Christopher streaking under the wire. The three-length winner in the end. Ended up pretty tight for a second there between Papa Cap and my prankster. O Captain was fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Good beginning for Major General from the inside post. Papa Cap breaks alertly as well. My prankster on the far outside races up, and Diesel's not far behind. And Jack Christopher gets a forward spot coming on through between horses and angling toward the outside. Up the chute they go, and it's Papa Cap in front. Jack Christopher has come on to be second and is tracking this pace with six furlongs to go. Major General toward the inside is racing in third. And then it's my prankster advancing up into fourth. Trademark is now fifth. Kavod comes away running along in sixth. Doppelganger in the clear while seventh. Trafalgar advancing toward the rail from eighth. Ben Diesel's back in ninth, though Captain is tenth. And Tejano Twist is the trailer down the back stretch run. The opening quarter goes in 22 and three fifth seconds. They're halfway home. And that opening half was 45 and three. And it's Papa Cap the leader as they round the far turn. Jack Christopher getting closer with each and every stride now. Just a neck behind with three furlongs to go. Jack Christopher is looking for the lead. Papa Cap trying to hold it. They round the far turn together. My Pranksters in a full out drive trying to close in from third. Major General's back into fourth. The rest have a lot to do. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Papa Cap is tough. Jack Christopher is right alongside. They're shoulder to shoulder with one furlong to go. My Prankster third trying to close in. But right at the eighth pole, Jack Christopher is set down for the drive. And he responds and opens up. Opens up by two. Papa Cap gives way. My Prankster. And then it's O Captain. But Jack Christopher streaking under the wire. The three-length winner in the end. Ended up pretty tight for a second there between Papa Cap and my prankster. Oh, Captain was fourth. Sure. And they're off. Life is great. Wit from the outside, out kissed from mid pack, and from another mother. From the rail as they cross over from the chute to the uh, main track and head up the back stretch. And it is from another mother down at the rail. Outkissed is in between horses. Scaramouche is on the outside. Wit and highly respected. Racing fourth and fifth. That is life is great. Next in sixth. Followed by Juggler and Dean's List is at the back of the pack from another mother. With a half-length lead over Outkissed. The long shots are 1-2 through a quarter and 22 and 1 fifth seconds. Then it is a Scaramouche down on the inside is highly respected. Wit is now making a move on the extreme outside. Wit is going up to challenge for the lead. Wit up to take on from another mother and outkissed. And now highly respected splits horses. There goes highly respected up now to grab the lead. The half and 45 and two. Highly respected the leader. Wit on the outside is racing in second. As the field comes into the stretch, it is highly respected in front. Wit is next in second. Then Scaramouche. Life is great. 
And out in the middle of the track is Dean Celeste. It is highly respected with the lead. Wit on the outside. Highly respected and Wit. And the two of them will battle it out to the finish. Highly respected on the inside. Wit on the outside. Oh, it's very tight. Highly respected or Wit in a photo finish in the grade three Bayshore. They're off, and it was a hesitant beginning for number five, Morello, who was last in the early going. Early voting is out for the early lead. AP Secrets on the outside, and down at the rail, it is a golden code. Studying there just a bit with Skippy Longstocking as they go around the clubhouse. Turn to his outside is Baris. Then it's a break of two and a half lengths to a long term who races in sixth. Mo Donegal is down at the rail in seventh. And Morello is the trailer in eighth as the three-year-old Colts head for the back stretch. The opening quarter was run in 23 and four-fifth seconds. And it is early voting, setting the pace here and leading by a half length. AP Secret keeping up the pressure on the outside in second. And then it is Baris and Golden Code. The two of them are third and fourth. The two New York breads are third and fourth. Then two and a half lengths. Back to Skippy Longstocking. Mo Donegal is down at the rail. Long term is coming on through. And Morello continues to trail right now about seven lengths from the lead. The half was running 47 and three. And it is early voting on top as they go around the far turn. Early voting three quarters of a length. AP Secret is in second. Baris is next in third. Skippy Longstocking runs in fourth. And now Mo Donegal begins to pick it up. Mo Donegal is getting gaining ground towards the inside. Morello is now up to sixth, but with an awful lot to do as they hit the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in 111 and two. It is early voting, trying to take them wire to wire here. Early voting in front. Mo Donegal comes on through down on the inside to grab second. It is early voting in front. A challenge here from Mo Donegal. Early voting, trying to hold on with a 16th of the finish. Mo Donegal bearing down on the outside. It's Mo Donegal and early voting, and it is Mo Donegal. Mo Donegal won the Remsen here as a two-year-old, and he comes back to win today's 97th running of the Wood Memorial. Sensational, right? Just about set. They're off right away in the Chicklang. Cogburn from the rail and Lightning Larry with early speed. Old home set away running third position. Dr. Jeff is next in fourth and from the outside there is Little Vic who's fifth in mid flight and then chasing time next in Wheelin Springs and trailing is a lot of hope. A lot of hope. A lot to do. Some 17 off that pace up ahead as they race on to the far turn run. Cogburn. Cogburn and Lightning Lady providing the pace. Oh, it's snappy. 21.87 and so Cogburn Lightning Lady second. Old Homestead in a hard chase there from third position. Little Vic on the outside, they're from fourth, and Dr. Jeff is racing in fifth. Then to the inside is chasing time, and Whelan Springs is the one widest to the top of the lane, and a lot of hope trails the field. They turn for home with Cogburn and Lightning Lady. They've been at it since the start. Old oh, Homestead under a drive and trying to gain, but Cogburn still going after an incredible 44.14 half mile with a furlong left to go, and Lightning Larry finally gets by. Finally gets by Cogburn to take the lead by a length. Here's Lightning Larry, Chantal Sutherland, sailing home at 12 to 1. Cogburn keeps on fighting. It's going to be Lightning Larry. Lightning Larry. Cogburn was second. Chasing time was third. And a lot of hope fourth. Old Homestead fifth. Time is a minute nine. And they're off. Provocateur is going out for the early lead. Senbei quickly moves up on the outside to challenge. Senbei has taken the lead. Provocateur is now in second with running son of a gun towards the inside in third. Don't wait up. Advances on the outside from fourth. Then comes fluid situation. It's a big break. Back to Dance Code who trails the field in sixth. Senbei leads here by three quarters of a length. Don't wait up on the outside in second. And then it is Provocateur down at the rail, racing in third. The quarter, 22 and two-fifth seconds. Zenbei, the leader here by a half length. Don't wait up on the outside in second. Provocateur at the rail. Fluid situation is now gaining some ground on the outside. 
And then comes Running Son of a Gun and Dance Code, the trailer. Zen Bay takes the field into the stretch. Ran the half in 45 and 4. Here's Fluid Situation on the outside. Provocateur is looking to come through down at the rail. It is Zen Bay, Provocateur at the rail. Zen Bay and Provocateur at the 16th pole together. Zen Bay with the lead. Provocateur in second. And it will be Zen Bay to win his three-year-old debut in the Gold Fever Stakes.